today, we're going to be working on a flow that is all about your low back. So in today's practice, we're going to be twisting, we're going to be strengthening, we're going to do a little back bending, all to help strengthen and release any pain that might be going there. All right, for today, we're going to start on our backs, and you're going to need two blocks. So begin laying down, have your blocks nearby, within arm's reach. Now we're going to take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose. Let the shoulders and the neck relax. On your next exhale, soften through the spine. Noticing if there's anywhere besides the low back that's feeling really tight. Often when we experience low back pain, it's coming from another place. It's actually a response to other muscles being overused or too tight, um, such as leg muscles, upper back muscles, core muscles. Um, sometimes we have overstretched the low back, but that's often, again, a response to not using the other muscles properly in certain positions. So that's what we're gonna work on today. We're gonna loosen up everything connected to the spine so that we can really release that tension and feel amazing after practice. So let's set the feet a little wider, as wide as the mat if you like, and then let your knees come together in the center. You just feel the low abdominal muscles turn off. You start to feel a little length and opening around the low back. our palms right where our hips and our thighs meet. That place right in the middle. We're going to start to press down and imagine we're going to lengthen the spine a little bit. And press and lengthen the spine. You might be able to feel like you're pushing. Oh, that feels good. Squeezing into the thigh bone and pressing it away from the body. That's really loosening and creating space through my lumbar spine, my low back. And release. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way overhead. Just let the arms bend and relax. Smoothing out your breath. We're going to gently rock the head from side to side. Just releasing any tension around the neck and shoulders. And then relaxing, pausing. And we're going to reverse the position of the feet. So slowly walk your feet to touch and let your knees open, but we're going to place blocks underneath the knees so that there's not too much of a stretch here, this very gentle opening. And instead, you're just allowing all the muscles to relax. Palms face up by your sides, eyes closed. Deep breath into your belly. And side out. Do that again. Our abdominal muscles are intrinsically connected to our low back muscles. When our abdominals are tight from tension or digestive discomfort or stress, then that can put more pressure on the low back muscles. 
So as we breathe into the belly, we're pressing the navel up. We're expanding and engaging our core muscles in the opposite direction, ballooning the belly. Pressing out all that tension and then release. Good, try it one more time. You should feel some softening happening through those muscles. And then we're going to lower the height of the blocks by one, starting to deepen the stretch through the hips. On your next inhale, you're going to bring your right knee to your chest. And we're going to extend the left leg all the way down the mat. Draw the right knee in. And then we're going to start to make circles with the knee. Inhale as you open it to the right side. Exhale, drawing it back to the middle. Inhale, open. Exhale, circling. Inhale. Exhale. And then let's switch directions. So three circles moving the other way. Still slow and going with your breath. Draw the knee into the chest. And then as you exhale, we're going to take that knee across the body. Let it land on your block. The block can be as tall as you need it to be. And we're taking a twist here. Stretch your right arm out. And you can keep your head in neutral or you can turn it to the right. Just depends on what feels good for your spine, neck, and shoulders. Remember, at all times, this is your practice. So you need to be listening to your body and making any adjustments or modifications so that the practice is more comfortable and enjoyable for you. On the next inhale, we're coming back to center. We're going to interlace behind the leg and flex our heel up to the ceiling. Good. Press that heel way, way up. Start to roll out your ankle. Sometimes pain in the back can start as low on the body as the feet or the toes. If you have any plantar fasciitis or um, corns or things like that on the feet, that causes us to favor how the foot patterning as we walk. And then that creates imbalances all the way up the leg to the spine. And sometimes it makes it all the way up to the shoulders. Flex your heel, bring that leg all the way down. And as you exhale, you're gonna bring your left knee into your chest. Draw the knee in tight. Relaxing through the shoulders and the hip. And then we're going to start to circle out that knee. So inhale as you open. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale. Exhale, center. Inhale. Exhale. And we're going to go the other way. Just loosening up the hip and the low back. Releasing any tension that's held in the hip socket. Good. Bring the knee into your chest. And then take it across your body for the twist. Place your block. Place your leg on the block, I should say. Extend your left arm out. Close your eyes and breathe. You can turn your head to the left if you turned it to the right on the other side. Inhale, coming back to center. Interlace behind your leg and flex your heel to the ceiling. Good. Flex.
leg, say it really, wake up the back of that left leg. Hips and shoulders are on the ground. You can always use a strap around the leg if that's easier. And then we're going to roll out the ankle and loosen up the toes, and the bottom of the foot. Inhale, flex your heel. And then slowly, as you're ready, bring that leg all the way up. Slowly walk your feet towards your hips. Palms face down on the mat beside you. Press into your feet. Slowly tuck your tailbone, lift your hips up. And then exhale, lower the hips back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Let's do two more. Slow and steady. It doesn't even have to be very high or deep into the pose. We just want to feel a little movement through the low back, through the hips. Just starting to loosen it up and come down and relax. We're going to take happy baby, bring the knees outside, and then slowly hold the feet. And you could press or massage the feet, especially if you think your low back discomfort might be stemming from an issue here. Just send some love to your feet. Release some of that tension. Some great pressure, acupressure points along the arch of the foot. Pretty easy to find starting underneath the ball of the big toe, working your way down the arch. And if you want, you can rock side to side. That's a nice massage for the back. And then gently bring your knees into your chest. Now we're going to roll onto our right side. And slowly coming up to sit. <sighs> Tailbone on the ground, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, stretch the arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, you're going to bring your hands down and bring them behind your back, palms facing out. As you exhale, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Relax the shoulders. Just feel that stretch through the neck. Inhale, center. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, you're going to open the arms, and we're going to gently twist to the right. Bring your hand to your knee, deep in your twist. Inhale, exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, center, exhale. Inhale, center, exhale, twisting the other way. One more time, inhale, really tall, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, hands to knees. We're going to start to make big circles with the body. Try to keep your tailbone connected to the ground, but allow your spine to move far from the tailbone. Good. One more circle in this direction. And then switch. Start to go the other way. Move the spine all the way back, all the way to the side and forward. You can move the head as well. Just whatever feels best. Just whatever helps to open it up. One more. And coming to neutral. Lion's breath on the exhale. Good. And let's slowly bring the knees into the chest. Floating your feet. Tense your fingertips by your side. 
Inhale, sit up as tall as you can on your sits bones. On your next inhale, bring your right knee in, extend your left leg out. And then we're going to switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, belly in, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Good. Inhale, both knees into the chest. Plant your feet. You're going to bring your palms, fingers pointing into your hips. Lift your heart, press into your hands. You can stay right here. Or press into your feet. Lift your hips all the way up for reverse tabletop. Pull your belly in, send your tailbone to the sky. And slowly lower down. We're going to cross our ankles and come forward onto tabletop. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. Inhale, round your spine. Breathe into the back of your body. Exhale, release your belly, opening up through the heart. Inhale, cat pose. Breathe into your low back. Exhale, cow pose. Gentle engagement of the core here so that there's not a lot of pressure in your low back. So you're kind of pulling it in as you inhale and then keeping it gently engaged as you exhale so that you're stretching the body, but you're not dumping weight into the low back because that's going to cause more discomfort and ask the muscles to move, um, to react a little bit more than they need to. So let's do that one more time. Inhale, draw the belly in, press into your hands, round it all under. Exhale, lower into your cow pose with gentle core engagement. See if that feels any better. And then we're going to come back to neutral. From here, you want to keep the spine neutral. You want to keep your core gently engaged. And we're going to move side to side, making a C curve with the spine. So as you exhale, you're going to bring your right shoulder towards your right hip, looking back towards your right foot. And then inhale, center. Exhale, take it over to the other side. Inhale, center. Try not to dip the chest, uh, dip the hips the belly, <laughs> not to dip the belly down because you want to keep it really neutral so we're only stretching the side body, looking to the right. Inhale, exhale to the left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale back to neutral. And we're going to sit back in child pose, stretch your arms overhead, and bring your forehead down to the ground. Breathing into the back of the body. Just noticing how you feel, noticing the quality of your breath. On your inhale, coming back up to tabletop. Hands under shoulders. Knees under hips. On your inhale, flat back. Extend your right leg straight back behind you. Square your hips to the ground. Press firmly into your hands. As you exhale, tap your toe. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. We're going to do three more. Follow your breath. This is a great way to gently strengthen the low back. Inhale, lift and hold. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Hold. And we're going to step that right foot through. Place your blocks on either side of the foot. Tuck your back toe and lift your knee up. Lifting your chest, press your left heel back. Pull your right knee forward. And feel that opening across the hips. Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to straighten the right leg and fold. Remember, the blocks can be as tall as you need them to be. Just depends on how tight your hamstrings are feeling today, in this moment. And it might even feel different if you do this practice again at a different time of day. 
Inhale, bend your knee, lift your heart. Exhale, straighten and fold. Inhale, bend and lift. Exhale, straighten and fold. Inhale, bend the knee, hold. And as you inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, taking a twist. Try to keep your hips square. Open up through the rib cage and through the arm and the right fingertips. Inhale, reach it all the way back. Exhale, reach it all the way forward. Inhale, reach it all the way back. Exhale, reach your arm forward. One more, inhale. Exhale, reach forward. Bring your hand down to the ground. Set your blocks to the side. We're gonna step the right foot back for plank. Press into your palms. Press into your feet. Slowly roll forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Hands underneath your chest. Shoulder blades pull together. Gently lift your heart. Press your feet and your hips down into the ground. Breathing for three, two, and one. Lower your chest and make your way back to child pose. On your inhale, slowly coming up to tabletop. Finding neutral spine. Inhale, extend your left leg back. Square your hips, press into your palms, engage your core. On your exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the foot. Exhale, tap the toes. Inhale, lift the heel. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Inhale, lift and hold. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, hold. And then we're gonna step the foot all the way through. You want your knee over your ankle, bring in your blocks. Tuck your back toe, lift your knee high. On your inhale, you're lifting the chest forward, bending your left knee, but pressing your right heel all the way back, really opening up across your hips. Inhale here, exhale, straight in your left leg and fold forward. Lengthen your spine, a little bit of engagement in your core as you draw the heart towards the toes. Inhale, bend into your left knee, lift. Exhale, straighten and fold. Inhale, bend and lift. Exhale, straighten and fold. Inhale, bend the knee. And on the next breath, lift your left arm up to the sky and twist. Spin your chest open. Press into your feet. Try to keep your hips square and really open up through the shoulder and the rib cage. Find your breath. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale, reaching forward. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale, reaching forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, reach forward. And then bring your hand down to the block. Set it aside. Inhale, stepping back to plank. And as you exhale, very slowly lower all the way down. This time we're going to bring our hands underneath our head. And you're going to slowly float your feet off the ground, keeping your chest low. Press your hips into the ground. And then we're going to kick the feet like we're swimming for three, two, one, and relax. Hands under your shoulders, gently press back to child pose. And then tuck your toes, going back to downward facing dog. All right, if you want to bend into the knees one at a time, you can. Just kind of loosening things up there. Maybe shake up the head or the shoulders. 
Remember, it's your practice, so do what feels right to your body. On your next inhale, you're going to walk or very lightly hop to the top. Exhale, fold forward, hold opposite elbows, hang in right bell pose, gentle bend in your knees. Take three deep breaths into the back of the body. As you inhale, slowly roll all the way up. Stretch your arms out, reach up to the sky. Exhale, bring the hands down by your sides. All right, let's find our neutral alignment here. So you're gonna press down into your feet. You want your fingers spread wide, uh, your toes spread wide, press down into your heels and the feet feel like they're pressing down and out so that your hips start to engage. And you feel that hip engagement and you draw up through your thighs so you're really strong. And you draw up through your core and there's a little tuck of the tailbone here. And you feel the low abdominals engage and the low back gets longer. And then you start to lift up through the chest a bit, but don't lift the rib cage. Keep those low ribs closed. Palms face out by your sides. Lift up through the crown of your head but keep your chin parallel to the floor. This is anatomical neutral. In yoga, we call this Tadasana, mountain pose. Keep your body in this position, and as you inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky. Utita Tadasana, extended mountain pose. And then keeping that same body position, float your arms back down, by your sides, palms face up. One more time, inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna slowly swan dive with a flat back, weight is in your feet. Exhale, all the way forward and fold. Hands to the crown, tuck your chin. Gentle bend in your knees if that feels better on your, uh, on your legs and your low back. Inhale, you're going to lift your chest, fingertips on the ground, halfway lift, pull your belly in, finding a flat spine. Exhale, lower again. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, up on the fingertips, lift. Exhale, lower. If it's hard to touch your hands to the ground, do it on blocks. Inhale, lifting, and exhale down. Always options to modify the blocks, bring the floor up to you. So at any point that you can't reach the floor, just put a block down and you can do exactly what, um, what I'm doing. It's just a matter of helping to stretch your hamstrings. On your next inhale, you're going to step your left leg back, bring your knee to the ground, and inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Anjayasana, low lunge. You're going to reach forward and up with your arms. Tuck your tailbone so that your belly is long and engaged. Reaching up. Stay here or push into your feet and come up to high lunge. Good. Tuck your tailbone and you're going to lower your knee down. And then inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, lower. Keep your Tadasana alignment through your spine. Lower. Inhale, lift. One more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And as you exhale, we're going to open the arms and twist to the right. Breathe. Spin your rib cage. Bend your right knee for three, two, and one. Coming, ooh, coming back to center. Reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to the blocks or the ground, straighten your right leg and fold. On your next inhale, stepping back to plank. Option to float your leg if you want a challenge and a nice way to strengthen your low back. 
Exhale, lower down, either to your belly or halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, and side out. On your inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Square your hips, press into your palms, and flex through your foot. Your heel should be an extension of the line all the way from your fingertips up to your heel. On your exhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Shoulders over your wrists, engage your core. Inhale, lift it back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it back. Exhale, knee to nose. And plant your foot at the top. We're going to bring the back heel down, lining up your heels for warrior two, and open it up to the side, warrior two. So the heels line up, the hips drop low. You want your right knee over your right ankle. Tailbone is tucked under, lifting through the spine, no back bending. Arms open wide. And today we're going to flip the palms up here. Look over your right hand or close your eyes for three breaths. Inhale, you're going to reach up to the sky, straighten your right leg. Exhale, bend your knee, coming back down, warrior two. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Palms still facing up. Inhale. Palms touch. Exhale. Hold here. Windmill your hands to the ground. And we're going to step the left foot forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time, stretch your arms to the sky, reach up to dasana. Exhale, palms to heart center. Bend your knees, sit back in your chair. Push into your feet, spread out your toes, just like tadasana. Knees are still trying to be close to over the ankles. Drop the tailbone down, stretch the arms up. Finding that Tadasana alignment through the torso. Bring the palms to heart center. As you exhale, you're going to twist to the right. Breathe. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Feel the core doing the work. Weight is down on the feet. Knees point straight forward. Inhale back to center. And exhale, we're folding forward. On your next inhale, you're going to step your right leg back. Bring your knee down to the ground. Push into your left foot. Inhale, rising up to Anjayasana, low lunge. Tuck the tailbone, reach forward and up. Find your Tadasana alignment through your body and keep your tailbone tucked under. Breathe slowly. You can stay here or press into your feet and rise up to high lunge. Nice long through the body Tadasana alignment. Left knee is over the ankle. Hips are square. As you exhale, bend your right knee lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Hold. Exhale, twist to the left. Good. Bend your left knee. Spread the arms wide. And breathe. Twisting is a great way to open up the spine. Inhale, we're going to reach up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Inhale, stepping back to plank. Option to float the leg. Exhale, lower. 
Inhale, lifting. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Nice long line from fingertips to heel as you square the hip and flex the foot. On your exhale, bring your knee to your nose, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, lift it high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. And you're gonna plant your foot at the top. Knee is over the ankle. Bring your right heel down, lining up your heels for warrior two. And as you inhale, open up to Virabhadrasana, warrior two. Left knee is over the ankle. Tailbone tucks under. Tall through your spine. Arms open, palms face up. And you take three breaths. On your next inhale, you're going to straighten your leg, reach up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee, come back down, warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Last one. Exhale. And we're going to windmill the palms down to the ground. And as you inhale, step your right foot forward. Exhale, fold. Take hold of your legs, tuck your chin, bend your knees, fold as deeply as you can into yourself. Opening up the back of the body. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen with a flat back. Push into your heels. No weight in your low back and come up. Reverse swan dive. Reach to the sky. Tadasana. Exhale. We're going to bring the feet to touch. And bend the knees. Chair pose. Sitting a little deeper this time. On your exhale, twist to the left side. And we're going to take our twist deeper. You might connect elbow to knee, but you don't have to. Just check out what feels okay to your spine. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Lengthening the body, knees pointing forward. Breath is steady. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. On your inhale, you're going to step back to your plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, downward dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Exhale, folding forward, and then slowly make your way to stand, finding Tadasana pose. Feet together, pressing down into the feet. Drawing up through your spine, shoulders down the back, and your eyes are focused on one point. Breathe. We're going to bend the knees and bring the palms to heart center for chair pose. On your inhale, lift your right knee up, cross it over, make a figure four, and sit back in your chair. Flex through your toes to protect your knees. Lower your hips and breathe. Lift your heart into your hands. If you want to challenge, you're going to twist to the right. Inhale, coming back to center. Press into your foot. Reach up. Kick your leg out. Breathing. Then you're going to bring your hands by your side like Tadasana. Step your right foot halfway. Float your back leg, warrior three. Flex through your heel. 
Reach your hands by your sides, fingers spread wide. Breathing for three, two, and one. Inhale, coming all the way up. Stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale, palms to heart center. Sit back in your chair. Breathe. On your inhale, you're going to lift the left knee. Cross your ankle over. Figure four. Sit back in your chair. Flex your toes to protect the knee. And lower the hips instead of lowering the chest. Pull your heart into your hands. And breathe deeply. If you want to challenge, you can twist towards your left leg. Inhale, coming back to center. You're going to slowly come up, reach up, kick it out. Keep the leg extended. Bring your hands down by your side. Inhale. Exhale as you step forward. Float your back leg for warrior three. Press your heel back, hands by your sides. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. On the next breath, coming all the way up. Reaching up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive, flat back as you fold. Hands down to the ground or the blocks. Inhale, fingertips halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Good. If you want, there's a crane pose option here for you. Bending your knees towards your elbows. Lifting up your feet. We balanced on our feet, so now we have to balance on our hands. But we don't have to. If your body says no, then that's what you got to do. Either step back to your plank or jump back to your chaturanga. And then on your inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, downward dog. Look forward, inhale, walk or lightly hop to the top, and exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, rising up, chair pose, Ukkatasana, and bring your palms to heart center. All right, let's put this all together. Inhale, lift the left knee high, exhale, cross it over, figure four, sit back in your chair. Inhale, reach your arms up, kick it out. Exhale, you're going to swing it back for warrior three. As you exhale, bend your right knee, step the left foot back for high lunge. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, twist to the right. Option to take it down to revolve side angle, if that's part of your practice. And then as you inhale, we're going to unwind, opening into warrior two. Inhale, press through the foot, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Wiggle your hands to the ground. Inhale, step back or float the leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down dog. Take a breath. Look forward, inhale, walk or lightly hop to the top. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, chair pose, palms to heart center. Find your focal point. On your inhale, lift the right knee. Exhale, cross it over, figure four. Breathing slowly. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, you're going to swing it back for warrior three. Inhale, bend your knees, step back to high lunge, arms to the sky. 
And as you exhale, twist to the left. And if you want, you can take it down a little lower into revolve side angle pose. Option, not a requirement. And on your inhale, we're going to unwind, opening to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Windmill, hands down. Inhale, step it back, flip the leg. Exhale. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in and sigh it out. As you're ready, walk or lightly hop to the top. And we're going to come down to sit. Extend your left leg out. Pull the right knee in as tight as you can. We're going to wrap the left elbow around and twist to the right. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, open your knee to the side. Stretch your arms up for Janu Shirsasana. Exhale, fold over your left toes. Now, every pose we've done here today is designed to help your low back. It's either stretching it or strengthening it or helping to realign it. I hope that your spine is starting to feel better. Two more breaths here. See if you can bring your nose closer to your knee. On your inhale, slowly coming up, you're going to bring your left foot in to meet your right. Take hold of your toes. Inhale, sit up really tall. You can also use a strap around your feet if it's difficult or uncomfortable to hold the toes with your hands. Sit up as tall as you can and then tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lift your chin. You're going to bring your knees in and extend your right leg out. Wrap your right arm around your left knee and twist to the left. Flex your right heel. Breathe. Inhale, coming to center. Open your knee to the side, Janu Shirsasana. Inhale, reaching. Exhale as you fold. Breathing into that stretch through the low back, through the hips. <sighs> Letting go of some of the tension that might be held here. Some of the emotion. On your inhale, slowly coming up. Exhale, you're going to bring your right foot in. Sit up as tall as you can. And then we're going to start to fold forward. Try to keep your spine long instead of rounded. If we round the spine, then we're stretching here. But if we keep the spine long, then we can stretch our hips and our low back. On your inhale, slowly come up. Extend your legs out. Plant your palms, fingers pointing into your hips. Point your toes. Inhale, lift your chest. Stay here or press into your heels and lift your hips up for reverse plank. And as you exhale, slowly lower. Land your feet. We're going to scooch our hips to our heels. Have your blocks nearby. And we're going to lay down on our back. Palms face up by your sides. 
And just take a few breaths here, feeling your spine flat into the floor, a little pressure into your feet to help flatten the back. And notice where you're feeling some relief. We're going to take our blocks. First, we're going to walk our feet in. We're going to put one block between our knees. Squeeze the knees together. Press your hands down. As you exhale, press into your feet and lift your hips. As we squeeze the block, it's helping to keep everything in alignment and also engage all the correct muscles along our spine and our core. So tuck your tailbone up to the sky. Squeeze the block and press your shoulders down. Breathing for three, two, and one. Slowly lower down. Good. Set your block to the side. Bring your feet together, knees open. Open your arms out wide. Inhale. Sigh it out. All right, let's do another back bend. So this time, we're going to either use the block between the knees or do it without. You can do any back bend that you so choose. Remember, this is your practice, so do what feels right to your spine right now. I'm going to choose to do a full back bend, but again, do what feels right. Plant your feet, plant your palms. Inhale as you prepare, place any blocks. Exhale, start to tuck your tailbone to the sky and lift into your back bend. And we're going to hold. Breathing slowly. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gracefully lower down. Bring the feet, to, the feet wide and the knees together. Open your arms into cactus arms and breathe slowly. Start to windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Just resetting your hips, softening around your low back. And then coming to neutral, you're going to gently bring your knees into your chest, roll to your left side, and slowly come up to sit. Cross your ankles, inhale, reach up, exhale, palms down, and fold forward. Gently rolling over your knees. We're going to take a vinyasa, stepping back to plank on the inhale. Exhale as you lower down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, start to walk to the top of the mat. And we're going to come all the way down to our back again, planting your feet on the ground. We're going to take the blocks, place them underneath the hips. One block per hip, side by side. And you want to feel really comfortable here with the blocks. So let them take up as much space as you need. Arms face up by your sides or in cactus arm, whatever feels more comfortable. <sighs> Just breathe. You could stay right here or send your feet straight up to the sky. For a modified shoulder stance, Salamba Sarvangasana. And today, because we're working on our low back, we don't necessarily have to take a full shoulder stand, but you're welcome to if you want to. 
We want to really focus on pressing the shoulder blades down and gluing the legs together as they lift over the hips. Just breathing slowly like that for five. Whenever you feel ready, start to bring your feet down to the ground. Pausing here. And then gently press into your feet, lift your hips. And we're going to remove the blocks, setting them aside. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. And as you exhale, pull your left knee into your chest for a figure four stretch. Relax your shoulders, your hips, and we're going to take five breaths here. As you exhale, bring your left foot down, cross your right knee on the top, and drop your knees over to the left side for a twist. Extend your right arm out, and we're going to take four breaths. On the next inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, send your feet straight up to the sky. Flatten your spine into the ground. Just breathe. On the next exhale, you're going to plant your right foot on the floor. Cross your left ankle on top. And then pull the knee into the chest for figure four stretch. Breathing for five. Relaxing the neck, the shoulders, the hips. Allowing it all to soften. On your next exhale, bring your right foot to the ground. Cross your left knee on top and drop your knees over to the right side for a twist, extending your left arm out. Take four breaths as you relax the body from neck to feet. On your inhale, gently coming back to center. Exhale, plant your feet on the floor. Now for Shavasana today, you can lie flat. Or if you want a little low back release, place your blocks underneath your thighs right at the edge of your glute and extend your legs out. This helps to tuck the tailbone a little bit and release that low back pressure. Palms face up by your sides. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Relaxing the body, allowing everything to slow down and soften. 
Our low back is said to be linked to our emotions, specifically emotions from past experiences. So as you meditate in Shavasana today, consider what you may have released, what emotions from your past are holding on and causing this pain. What from your past still causes you hurt. And as you exhale, try to let that go so that it no longer hurts your body or your heart. Shavasana. Just breathe. Begin to deepen your breath. Continuing to exhale away the emotions that are holding you back. And inhale, breathing in the emotions you do want in your heart and your body. Take a deep breath in. Breathing in what you want. Exhale as you let go of what's holding you back. One more. Breathing in what you want. Exhale, letting go of what's holding you back.
Gently start to walk your feet in. Remove your blocks if you have them. And gently lay on your side, whichever is more comfortable for you. Slowly starting to come to a seated position. Palms face up on the legs. Relax your shoulders. Sitting up tall through your spine. Take a deep breath in. And let go. One more. Bringing palms to heart center in a sign of gratitude for our mind and our body and our heart. Being especially grateful to our spine for all that it allows us to do today and every day. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.